My name is Florence Ostan and I'm a curator at the Barbican. This exhibition explores the career of the Japanese-American artist Isamu Noguchi, one of the most important and experimental sculptors of the 20th century. Noguchi thought art should improve the way people live. He pioneered an expanded understanding of sculpture, which he described as a vital force in our everyday life if projected into communal usefulness. This exhibition at the Barbican is organized along interconnecting themes. It focuses on Noguchi as a global citizen, alongside his risk-taking approach to sculpture as a living environment. An extraordinary range of sculptures in stone, ceramics, wood and aluminium showcases vast interdisciplinary output from theatre sets to playground models, from landscape designs to furniture and lighting. Rejecting the ideal of pure abstraction, Noguchi became interested in cellular structures, living organisms and the natural world. He experimented with metal sculpture, transforming industrial and everyday materials. The polished brass of globular used reflections to expand the limits of the object in space. Noguchi's belief in the humanist value of science and technology was influenced by his encounter with architect, designer and inventor Buckminster Fuller in 1929. He made a bronze bust of his new friend plated with shiny chrome, a new material used in car manufacturing. One of Noguchi's earliest commercial designs, the baby monitor called Radio Nurse in 1937, was made in bakelite, the first synthetic plastic. Noguchi shared Fuller's ideal of the American dream of material progress. The earliest collaboration was the model for Fuller's Dimaction car, a prototype vehicle designed to travel on land, on sea and in the air. Its streamlined curve recalled Noguchi's Miss Expanding Universe. Suspended from the ceiling, the cast aluminium figure seemed to soar like a plane. Inspired by Hubble's law on the unfixed, expanding nature of the universe, the sculpture expressed Noguchi's love for the dancer and choreographer Ruth Page. He designed a dress for her whose stretch cloth extended the sculptural possibilities of body weight, mass and gravity. Similarly, Noguchi spider dress for Martha Graham's dance of collapse and levitation in Cave of the Art used brass wire to expand the physical boundaries of the human body, like radiating sunbeams. Following Japan's attack on Pearl Harbor in 1941, American President Franklin Roosevelt issued an executive order leading to the forced imprisonment of Japanese citizens and American citizens of Japanese heritage living in the Western United States. Even though Noguchi was extempt as a New York resident, he chose to enter one of the largest camps in Poston, Arizona. There, he aimed to create an arts and recreation center with a program intended to improve the lives of the prisoners. The title Le Yellow Landscape may be a direct reference to the pervasive racist terminology and the prejudice towards Asian Americans throughout the United States during the 40s. His lunar series featured light-emitting electrical components, as seen in the work Lunar Infant, a biomorphic form suspended with an ominous enclosure. Noguchi's use of vivid color in red lunar fist creates a similar effect of blazing heat and simultaneously suggests an aggressive gesture and an embrace. Noguchi refined his interest in the lunar landscape in sculptures such as Double Red Mountain, in which his use of reduced abstract forms created an evocative dreamlike space. My works in this vein, he said, are landscapes really, a sculpture of the whole, not an assemblage of parts or props, as with theatre, high, low, horizontal or vertical, they are a landscape of the mind. These self-illuminating works anticipate Noguchi's creation of Akari light sculptures in 1951, Akari means light in Japanese, encompassing both illumination and weightlessness. They show his combination of tradition with modern technology, using electric bulbs and broad sculpture to everyday households, in line with the artist's democratic commitment to accessible public art.
During the 40s, Noguchi also created innovative interlocking sculptures made from thin slabs of stone prepared for building facades. The multiple parts were held together only by gravity in a manner similar to the joinery techniques used in Japanese houses that Noguchi had learned in his youth. An important development of Noguchi's biomorphic interlocking sculptures, the sculpture corners draws on classical myth and is a highlight of his exploration of humanity's capacity for violence and of the destruction brought by the Second World War. The multiple parts suspended in the center of the work depict Kronos swallowing his own children. The suspended elements also recall, like his work Mortality, a clock pendulum, and thus the idea of passing time. He said, her pendulous and precarious existence is shaped by gravity. Noguchi confronted the devastating impact of the atomic bomb during a visit to Hiroshima in 1951. Noguchi then realized 1952 design for a monument to the dead of Hiroshima, allegedly rejected in light of his American citizenship. Underneath the arch, Noguchi would have placed the names of the world's first atomic dead, he said. Another symbol of Hiroshima's tragedy, the No-inspired mask Okame, was described by the artist as all bandaged up with a one pathetic eye and no longer humorous. Noguchi only ever created ceramics in Japan, stating, I think the earth here and the sentiment here are suited to pottery. The artist felt a similar impulse when making The Queen in 1931, the year he encountered Aniwa funerary figures while studying ceramics in Kyoto. He remembered, they were in a sense modern, they spoke to me and were closer to my feeling for earth. The artist developed a deep appreciation for carving hard stones such as basalt and granite. As with the growth of trees, Noguchi saw time as integral to the process, exploring the transformation of rock through various states. He drilled a hole into the inner stone using a rotating pipe and made a modern tsukubai, a ritual water basin found in Japanese gardens with power tools. Reflecting on six decades of his practice, in which he consistently disregarded established hierarchies and the boundaries between disciplines, Noguchi stated in 1988 that art for me is something which teaches human beings how to become more human.